hey guys welcome back to clarity chart analysis and in this video i'll be using market structure to tell us our current position of the apecoin on the price market chart and also use the market structure to predict the next possible move of the apecoin but first guys if you're new to this channel i want to make money on both direction of the market you want to know our current position on the price market chart this channel is for you please subscribe like and put on the notification to be notified anytime I drop a new video. So guys, after the Bitcoin was launched on Binance and February 18, 2020, March 18, 2022, it has just been going down and we've not seen an external break of structure on our daily time frame or major structure. So guys, what we'll be doing here is we are going to be analyzing the internal structure and let's see what the internal structure is telling us. So guys, based on our internal structure, the most recent, the first break of structure we saw was a break of structure to the downside. We saw price break structure to the downside as a little pullback and we broke another structure to the downside. And guys, what does it mean when we see break, break of structure to the downside? It means that we're still on a bearish trend and guys, that's what we've been seeing. We've been seeing series of break of structure to the downside and currently the most recent break of structure we still saw was a break of structure to the downside and guys after every break of structure my emphasis on this channel is what we should expect a pullback so guys are we yet on a pullback freeze sure we're not yet on a pullback freeze because it's actually the swing that gives us this lower low so guys on our daily time frame we expect price to come back to this upper swing that give us this low low if price is not going back then then we should not be surprised we should continue seeing price break more structure to the downside so guys currently now our internal structure which is our, our internal structure our daily time frame is between this lower swing and this upper swing of our daily time frame so let's go to a four hour time frame let's go see if price is already pulling back and guys what do we expect to see on our four hour time frame for us to know that we're on a pullback phase we are supposed to see a series of bullish trend because the most recent break of structure we saw on our internal structure was a break of structure to the downside so guys coming back to our four hour time frame what do we notice we notice that the most recent break of structure we still saw was a break of structure to the downside for us to be on a pullback phase, we need price to take out this swing. So guys, if price is not taking out this swing, then we should not be surprised that we'll continue seeing more break of structure to the downside. So clearly, our four-hour time frame is on a bearish trend. Our daily time frame is still on a bearish trend. So guys, let's see if we can still get more information about one hour structure. Maybe price is already pulling back. And guys, this same swing that gave us this lower low on our four hour time frame was also the same swing that gave us this lower low on our one hour time frame. So guys, we expect price to give us a series of bullish trend to take this out for us to be on a pullback phase. If not, guys, we should not be surprised seeing price break more structure to the downside, telling us that we are still on an impulsive phase. And guys, remember that now currently now one hour is trading between this upper swing and this lower swing. So if you should see price take out this upper swing, that shows we are ready to be on a pullback phase on our four hour time frame. Why for our four hour time frame to be on a pullback phase, we need price to take out this swing. But guys, if price is not doing any of these two, then we should not be surprised that price will continue breaking more structure to the downside. So guys, let's trade carefully. Let's not lose our added money trading the wrong direction of the market. Clarity chart analysis is here to give updates on market structure. But guys, for you not to miss out, please subscribe, like, and put on the notification to be notified anytime I drop a new video. Thank you guys for watching this video.